Do you guys want to know how I got this skin? Look at it. Pizza. So if any of you guys want to see how I got it, it's from Skin Deck. And Skin Deck is probably the most reliable and accurate thing. It does not have any inappropriate skins, doesn't have anything like glitching, doesn't have any like scam links or anything. So they can actually ban you from this site if you do that. So I think it's really safe. And I would recommend it for anybody who's been wanting a skin and couldn't find any websites for it. And I'm going to show you how to access skin decks and everything. So first of all, I would recommend that you get a login. So you can either log in if you have an account or sign up. I'm going to log in again. Ninja C2016. So if I ever wanted a skin that I wanted to maybe upload or keep somewhere. So I'm going to get a dragon. I'm going to turn into a dragon. So I can either download it into my files if I click download. And this, you don't have to log in to do this. You can delete it. I'm just going to delete it. And you can upload it straight to Minecraft. So I've logged in already, so once you get into Skindex and you click upload, it's going to take you to the login screen. Once you log in, it's going to take you to this screen from Skindex. So click change. So one thing is, I still have this skin. What, so what's going on? What you have to do is to get out of a server if you're in a server. And if you're in single player and you want to change your skin, I recommend you get out of the whole Minecraft because that's the only way that worked for me. So I'm back. Oh, here I am. This is actually a really cool skin. <laughs> this is really nice. So I'm going to get back now. And I have to like this. So this is actually so good that I want to add it to my wardrobe. So how to add to your wardrobe is just click add to wardrobe if you have an account. And it says the skin is bad to your wardrobe. So now that you're logged in, you have an account and stuff, you can go to my wardrobe. You have Food Lover Girl that I added earlier. If I don't want this in here, I can just click remove skin from your wardrobe list, OK, and then wait a little bit. Here it is. So now it's deleted. So I have to like this. Oh wait, I already did. OK. I just want to give it a million likes. This is so good. So. And there's my black tabby skin that I usually have, and some other skins. So pretend I wanted to edit something, I can, or create something. So I can look for a base, and people have bases like hair bases or like other cool bases like this. And then you click edit skin, and once you're logged in, you can upload it to skin decks. So if I wanted, like, pretend um, a green shirt, I can click this thing in the middle to shade it. So the shading job is done for me. So I don't have to click different shades with my pencil. Because this is pencil, just one shade. But I want multiple shades. So I'm doing this. So pretend I don't want to get on the hair or anything, or it's like I'm really paranoid about that. I can click this body to take it out. So I can also color in here. And I can make everything more accurate and precise. It's just a really cool tool. And this is this applies for every body part. Um, applies for the legs the arms, the head. I'm just going to take away everything. So pretend I wanted to upload it. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um I do not going to I do not want to upload it now because it looks too wrong. So just like if I had a skin name, I could just like type in a skin name. Description, this tags is what the is what you want people to search to find this. So if pretend I wanted green shirt, I can type in green 
insert, comma, space, and then if I wanted something else, maybe like purple hair, comma, space, and that you can do as many, but the limit is like um, 145 characters, I think. So once you're done with that, you type in this, and this is not case sensitive, and this is has to be one word. I learned that the hard way. So do that, and then once you click upload, it's going to be uploaded. But please read the rules before you upload. No spamming, no obscene, obscene slash offensive skins, no test uploads, no invisible skins, no incomplete skins, because this is incomplete, no uploading of the default skin from the skin editor, no skins with inappropriate slash offensive titles, descriptions, or tags. You have been warned, failure to comply w will result in getting your account banned. That's why my, the skin dex is so safe from all this inappropriate stuff. So once it's uploaded, you'll find it in the skins that you made. So I usually title it by the keywords. So like Katniss, I made a pretty cool Katniss here. So I named it Katniss because if people type in Katniss, there's a lot of Katnisses, but yeah, there's mine. It's pretty close to the top, actually. So that's why you want to title it what people would probably type in. There's my lovely Katniss. So if you're, if, by the way, if you're wondering what this like blue thing is, it says Katniss Everdeen in the second movie Catching Fire. The scene is with Katniss in the woods with a baby blue slash white scarf. I don't know if you remember that, but after she won the Hunger Games, she got pretty rich. So she got this scarf thing, and she went out in the woods with it and Gale, or with Gale. So I'm pretty much of a Hunger Games fan, focusing on details and everything. So, let's see. I want to see the reactions of people. Yeah. If I reset my skin... You can reset your skin so if you don't want to change it. Let's go back. Goodbye, dragon. Let's go back. I'm Alex. I am Alex for... I haven't been Alex in like, let me see, a year was it? My first skin was Katniss also. I'm such a big Hunger Games fan and Doctor Who fan. I'm a nerd. So... I think that's it to the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned some cool stuff from it. So, probably going to end the video now. Please like for, like, just showing me support that you learned something from this. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. So, bye guys.